our sustainability efforts. Uh, it's a really complicated uh, subject area and really I just want to share a few thoughts with you about what we are uh, doing, uh, where we've come from, where we are now and, and where we're trying to get to um, on this uh, on this journey. Um, you know, we're fully aware we're never going to make a massive difference in uh, just within our little business, but certainly it's very close to our hearts that, that we're doing every um, every effort really. Um, so it's a balance because we all want to ensure that we've got performance in our shoes, in our products. Um, the old the old way of providing waterproofness, for example, DWR, durable water repellency, involved um, and still involves very much um, for many um, using um, heavy, heavy metals, um, what we call PFCs. Uh, it's a fluorocarbon based uh, um, stuff that was very effective at repelling um, water from fabrics, um, but these remain in the environment forever. Um, so um, that's an example of something that the whole industry really has been working on solutions for. Um, and well, let's start with that. Um, we are committed from this next production that will arrive in June to have no use of PFCs. Uh, so we use other treatments um, for more environmental treatments for DWR. And we're working with a company called 3M to provide that. So really anything that has water resistance, whether it's the Impala, um, leather boot there, or uh, the new Muddy, um, or even, let's say, our Howgill here, um, fly knit but with a, a membrane in, uh, we're using um, this zero PFC uh, DWR treatments. So that's something, uh, obviously it involves more cost um, and um, uh, it, it's more involved, but we need to get to the point where we're not seeing a reduction in our um, waterproofness uh, and, and that's what we, where, where we've been working very hard to, uh, to ensure. The packaging we use um, is um, recycled, recyclable, whether it's a box, uh, whether it's the outer carton it comes in or the plastic bag that we send it out in. Um, so we've uh, working hard at that and as new materials come along that are even better, then we'll be um, looking to, uh, to use that as well. So that's in all three of our warehouses. On the main materials, um, we've developed our bottle yarn, which is um, a recycled um, plastic bottles, essentially post-consumer waste. So all the plastic bottles um, we then reuse and we can get pretty much um, 70, 60, 70, 80%, depending on the uh, material to work with um, our trainers, for example. So this is more of an open weave uh, bottle yarn to a closer weave, say on Arken, the new winter boot, uh, more of a closer weave to give some water um, repellency um, within the, if you like, the body of the material because it's close weave. Um, so that's a bottle of yarn recycled. Um, also our fly knits, so that fly knit is bottle yarn as well, so recycled plastic bottles. Bottle yarn is really important to us, but what we also love is our coffee, recycled coffee grounds. So we can again use about 60-70% depending on the, um, the fly mitt material. So you'll see this in our paste shoe, also our tanga. Uh, we take the coffee grounds, uh, the waste coffee, uh, we dry we dry it, uh, we then mill it to a very, very fine uh, nanometer powder. From that, we can combine with some polyester to create a spinning fluid. You've got to have some polyester in there to create the ideal characteristics of the performance material that you're going to use for the upper. Um, and then from the spinning fluid, we've got the, the fly knit thread uh, and, and we make it in a a kind of a, um, a neutral colour and then we dye it for whatever colour we want or, or indeed pattern uh, within the material. 
Coffee yarn, a um, little bit like the bottle yarn, uh, we create a performance material that's breathable, durable, um, can be water resistant, um, breathable, durable. Um, with the coffee, it's also antimicrobial, as coffee, coffee is. Um, the the, the Flyknit uh, takes a little bit more cleaning than the other meshes, which can be kind of wiped, um, but um, it's a lovely material both for sport, running, fitness, and also every day. So that's the coffee yarn, um, which we love and we'll continue to, to work with. It's expensive, but it makes a great uh, material for what we for what we want. And you know, that great yeah. effort that we're making on sustainability. We then look at our laces and we're getting 60, 70% recycled content in our laces, most of our laces. We're still working on, for example, um, the lace for some of our casual shoes, really getting the best um, sustainable material for, for that. Um, so we've then got our linings. Um, this is bottle yarn in the lining, it's the fly knit, same fly knit, but our other linings, um, such as you've got here in the back of the shoe for flex, making sure that plus the foam, the recycled content there. Um, the midsoles, so that's the bit, if you like, in between the rubber outsole and the footbed or the, the lining. Uh, we're working to ensure we've got a high recycled content through, through that, which is our soft flex or even our medium flex and firm flex. On our outsoles, so that's the, the rubber bit at the bottom, the outsoles are, for us, 60% natural rubber. Um, so this is just the rubber that's tapped from trees in a sustainable forest situation. We then combine it with some synthetic to get the balance of characteristics we need, the durability and the grippiness. So it's, it's got to be a combination of the two types of rubber. So we, you know, keeping looking at how we might do that uh, better and better. We've then got um, our kind of more boot type footwear. Uh, so this is our microfiber, um, although we also use that on a shoe as well, our City and Nimbus. So this is also, um, it's a synthetic material, it's a polyester based material. And at the moment we're getting about 30, 40% um, in our development of recycled content and we're working to get that higher but up till now this has not been um, a recycled material but we're we're building that up as well um, so working hard at that our leathers really important to us as well um, we are working with the leather working group which is an internationally renowned organization which checks and audits throughout the supply chain. So they're digging in to our supplier base on leather. So that might be uh, the Impala or let's say our uh, ESC, our other, uh, new product, and really looking at how the supply chain is working with that, this product um, in terms of how it's um, eliminating um, waste, um, no use of harmful chemicals, and um, just just checking that through to make sure that we're as environmental as we can be. Um, and we're working to their gold certification, so their sort of highest level of certification on, on the leather. Um, we're also working on the development of a, a recycled leather, um, which we've got here. And again, that'll be verified and uh, um, accredited. Uh, we take the leather pieces and combine with a little PU to make this recycled. And we're getting a great performance um, characteristic uh, from the recycled uh, leather. Uh, so that's really just a, a little bit of something on our um, sustainability for the materials. Um, also, we work with an organisation called Shoe Aid. So any slight second or any shoe that uh, needs to come back to us and needs another home, we'll make sure it gets a full, um, you know, it gets another full life um, from 
uh, sending them to Shoe Aid, which really are putting shoes on the homeless, um, starting with um, this country, but also all countries overseas as well. And, um, and so we're very, we've been working with them, these guys, for probably seven or eight years and um, uh, love them dearly. So that's uh, an, in, an important one as well. Um, so verification is something that I should mention. Um, we insist on um, obviously certification by an independent testing agency for the recycled contents down our supply chain. We verify it ourselves, visit where we can, where the team can, um, and also um, as well as visiting, if we can't visit, um, then we, uh, we get video verification as well. Um, so just kind of taking no one's word for it and making sure that um, we're doing what we're saying we're doing.